welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we will be discussing about tidal volume. So what is tidal volume? Tidal volume is the amount of air entering and exiting the lung during a respiratory cycle. So average in males it will be coming around 500 ml in a respiratory cycle and in females it will be coming around 400 ml. So how in a, if the patient is ventilated how will we calculate the tidal volume? So to calculate the tidal volume requirement for a patient according to the uh, ideal body weight we will be calculating that. So for that we need to know the ideal body weight. To calculate the ideal body weight first we have to measure the height of the patient with a tape uh, with uh, ideally we will be taking it in centimeters and we will be mesh, uh, calculating the ideal body weight. For that we have a formula. For males the formula is 50 plus 0.91 into height minus 152.4 centimeters and in case of females it is 45.5 plus 0.91 into height minus 152.4 centimeters. With that we will be getting the ideal body weight. So we are calculating the ideal body weight from the length or the height of the patient in centimeters. With that ideal body weight then we will be calculating the tidal volume. So tidal volume will be coming around 10 to 12 ml per kg. That will be the tidal volume that is required for the patient during one respiratory cycle. Okay, so I have a Hamilton T1 ventilator here. In this, um, they are asking the height of the patient. So, uh, with this, uh, here I can actually change the height of the patient by turning this knob. And as this height changes, the ideal body weight also will change. So, in this ventilator, the ventilator itself is measuring the ideal body weight. So depending on the ideal body weight, suppose if it is ideal body weight is coming around 30 kg, we can calculate the tidal volume like uh, 10 to 12 ml per kg. So this patient might require 300 ml of tidal volume. But classically we will not be taking this 10 to 12 ml per kg, we will be taking around 8 ml per kg. And in some certain conditions like ARDS, COPD and patients who are post uh, lung uh, resected patients and all we will be taking a low tidal volume that is 6 ml per kg. So uh, suppose we have intubated a patient and if we are setting a ventilator we uh, in certain modes we will be able to select the tidal volume which is required like in CMV mode, SMV mode and all. We will be dealing with these modes later but I will uh, show you how to set the tidal volume. Suppose in the modes I will be selecting the CMV mode, I will be confirming that, then here I will be able to adjust the tidal volume by turning the knob and I will press on the confirm button, ok. So the ventilator will be providing that tidal volume, ok. What will happen if we are selecting a wrong tidal volume, suppose if we are giving a tidal volume which is too low for that patient, what will happen? So the enough air will not be entering and exiting the lung during that respiratory cycle as a result carbon dioxide retention will happen for that patient okay so that is one side effect uh, that will happen and oxygenation also will not be effective but in some conditions like ARDS, COPD and lung resected patients and all we will be preferring low tidal volume that is 6 ml per kg why because uh, ARDS already the lung there are many damages to the lung so if at all we are selecting a more high tidal volume for these patients what will happen is the ventilator will try to push in more air with more pressure that can cause barotrauma to the patient so we will be avoiding that by giving low tidal volume and excess tidal volume that is high tidal volume the side effect is that the patient will go for a respiratory alkalosis features that, that it can cause some electrolyte abnormalities hypocalcemia and all. So I hope you have understood what is tidal volume, uh, tidal volume how to calculate tidal volume it is based on the ideal body weight. So uh, we will be measuring the patient's length with a tape with uh, in centimeters we will be calculating the ideal body weight depending on the ideal body weight we will be selecting a tidal volume approximately 8 ml per kg of that ideal body weight will be calculated as a tidal volume and we will be setting that in the ventilator thank you